What's going on guys? Welcome back to the compound. Today I'll be repainting this Jurassic World Dominion Giganotosaurus for my good pal Jay Jurassic. Since this is my first time ever painting this dinosaur, I'm really going in cold. Uh, painting this thing, I'm not really sure what to do, but we're just going to experiment, use the rule of cool, and most importantly, have fun while we're doing it because after all, that's what it's all about. So we'll just experiment with some paints and see what we can come up with. Now the action gimmick is absolutely absurd on this thing, so I will be modifying this figure by breaking it open at the waist and permanently fixing the torso into a neutral position. Uh, so that way it doesn't flip flop around anymore and potentially scratch the paint off. So the dyno is now modified and I have it primed in white. And now I'm going to go in and start to build up a pale greenish gray skin tone. So I'll go in first with Vallejo green gray mixed with some olive green ink. And I'm going to pop that in my airbrush and start to build up the base skin tone color. With that done, now I'll go under the belly with dead flesh to create a highlight effect on the underside. So now with all the base work done, I'll grab some dark gray and start to block in all of the patterns along the body. Remember to keep that paint thin so you can get nice clean lines. With all the patterns done, now I'm gonna go in with some sapia shade wash in my airbrush and start to glaze this all over the surface of the body. And this will just act as a filter to bring the overall brightness of that green skin tone down just a little bit. So with all of that done, now it's time to pick out all of the scars he has. And to tackle this, I'll be using Vallejo Flesh Tone followed by a flesh shade wash. I'll start by thinning the paint down and using a very fine tip brush and allowing the paint to flow into the scarred area. Once the scars have dried, I'll go back in and just wash them with the flesh wash just to bring that brightness down a little bit and just give them a little hint of realism. So this is pretty much the home stretch now uh, for the claws. We'll just go ahead and keep it simple and go in with straight black and paint all of the claws black. And then I'll go in with a blue wash and I'll glaze that all over the figure. What that's gonna do is it's gonna cool things down and just tie everything together. So real quick before I wrap this video up, I just wanted to go over the eyeballs. Uh, the original eyes were really derpy looking and very just poorly sculpted and I wasn't digging them. So I removed the top head and I actually cut the eyeballs out so I could put better eyeballs in. Now what I'm using for the eyes is pretty simple. I just grabbed a baggie of different colored craft beads and I'll get two of the yellow ones out and put them on a wooden dowel. And then I'll mask off two small slits with painter's tape and then paint the slits black and then I can position them in the eye socket and glue them down once I find the right placement. And once the eyes are set in place, then I can glue the head down and this dude is finally done and ready to head back up to Jay. So I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching. I hope you found this video helpful in some way, shape, or form. If you give this or any repaint a shot, remember to tag me over on Instagram at the Jurassic Park Compound because I love seeing the stuff that you guys can come up with. If you need more Jurassic-related content, you know where to find it. Links will be in the description box below. You guys take care, and I'll see you around the compound.